Welcome. This is Narsingarao Nagaredi working as an IIM consultant for ANH iSecure Private Limited. The following presentation will provide an overview of sale point IntiQ integration with Oracle eBusiness Suite R12. Organizations require sustainable data security and protection solutions. New and updated regulations such as SOX, GDPR are all placing pressure on organizations for an effective security and control over enterprise data access. So, in this video, we are going to see how the sale point IntiQ is an innovative identity governance solution that reduces the cost and complexity of both complying with regulations and delivering access to users. As part of this video, we'll go through the following. Oracle eBusiness Suite Connector and its features, prerequisites and the administrative permissions at IIQ and EBS level. And next, we'll focus on the ways to implement security in Oracle eBusiness Suite, both the traditional responsibility-based security and RBAN, role-based access control, followed by the RBAC provisioning demo use case, and finally, the demo use case on provisioning processes, automated birth rate provisioning. Let's begin with an overview of Oracle EBS. Oracle eBusiness Suite is the most comprehensive suite of integrated global business applications that help organizations to streamline their processes, make better decisions, reduce costs, and increase performance. Oracle eBusiness processes huge amount of business critical data. Each application is licensed separately, so companies can select the combination that is suitable for their business processes. Some of the applications found in Oracle EBS include Oracle CRM, Oracle's Integrated Customer Relationship Management Solution is a set of applications that give information-driven sales, service, and marketing. It provides the front office functions which helps a business to increase customers, customer loyalty, and satisfaction. The HRMS application helps companies manage the recruit to retire processes. The application gives user a real-time view of all the HR activities, including recruiting, time management, training, compensation, benefits, and payroll. Order management applications can streamline and automate a business entire sales order management process from order promising and order capture to transportation and shipment. The financial applications include general ledger, cash management, payables, receivables, fixed assets, treasury, property management, financial analyzer, and a self-service expenses function. SailPoint Oracle Business Suite Connector SailPoint provides out-of-box eBusiness Suite Connector to connect to Oracle EBS. The connector supports only R12 EBS version, 12.2.x and 12.1.x. We can use the connector to integrate Oracle eBusiness Suite HRMS as a trusted source, that is, the target system is the authority source of identity data for sale point. Features of the Oracle eBusiness Suite connector. It controls the activities related to account and groups by signing in manage system. The connector manages the responsibility and role entities of Oracle EBS. It automates access rights management, security, and provisioning of IT resources. Prerequisites and the administrative permissions. Prerequisites at the IAQ. The compatible JDBC drivers must be used in the class path of IIT IQ for connecting to Oracle server, for example, ODBC 6.0. 
administrative permissions on EBS database. Please coordinate with the DBA to get the required administrative permissions. The service account and the source needs to be a user on the Oracle database which is used by the Oracle eBusiness suite. Create a new administrative user account and grant create session and create synonym to the new user. In order to perform account and group aggregations, IAQ requires select permissions on the following EBS tables to the new user created. Also, synonyms need to be created on the EBS tables to the new user. Administrative permissions for progenic accounts. Please provide the permissions for the following packages based on the definer invoker rights. If the packages have definer rights procedure, the procedure executes with the privileges of the owner while invoker rights procedure executes with the privileges of the current user that is the user who invokes the procedure. If the packages have invoker rights, copy the package scripts from the IAQ Integration Oracle eBusiness Suite resource directory to the eBusiness Suite Oracle Home database site and as an app user, grant execute on the following packages to the new user. Implementing security in Oracle eBusiness Suite. Oracle eBusiness Suite security model is designed to provide application user access to perform business functions through the assignment of one or more responsibilities. A responsibility provides an entitlement in which a user operates. There are two main ways to implement security in Oracle eBusiness Suite. The traditional Oracle eBusiness Suite responsibility based security is usually referred as function security where the responsibilities are assigned to the users. And the other model is role based access control, which is usually referred as RBAC. Components of Oracle EBS security model. Before proceeding with RBAC, let's discuss how the EBS security model is designed to provide application user access to perform business functions through the assignment of one or more responsibilities. A user is created in Oracle EBS and one or more roles or responsibilities are assigned to the user. A responsibility is uniquely identified by application name and responsibility name. A responsibility provides an entitlement in which a user operates. Responsibility includes navigation menus and a responsibility can allow access to a restricted list of menu items that the user can navigate. A menu is a hierarchical arrangement of application functions and forms. Forms and HTML pages are invoked by functions in Oracle EBS when the user navigates to them. Role-based access control assign multiple responsibilities to the role. Role-based access control is the next level of security model available in Oracle Business Suite. It builds upon data security and function security. With our back, access control is defined through roles. Roles provide significant security design improvement over the responsibilities based option by normalizing access to functions and data through user roles rather than only users. That is, we don't have to manage individual user accounts for assigning the responsibilities and users are not required to be assigned to the lower level permissions directly and user access to Oracle eBusiness suit is determined by the roles granted to the user. Based on the role category, multiple roles are created and the responsibilities are assigned to the roles. Now the created roles are assigned to the users. With the implementation of RBAC, the cost of administration of EBS environment is greatly reduced. Security and compliance is improved by developing effective SOD compliant model that reduces cost of managing security violations. Separation of duties and toxic combination. Creating toxic combinations and application roles. 
a user has a combination of roles while roles have combinations of entitlements and access on the system that gives them the ability to perform tasks segregation of duties also known as toxic combination is a situation where it prevents users from being as in toxic combination of entitlements that should never be controlled by a single user it is toxic if both roles are assigned to the same user one example where separation of duties required in ebs is is an ap module where the same user should not be given the responsibility to receive a bill to be paid and responsibility to authorize and pay the bill this would be a toxic combination if both responsibilities are assigned to the same identity as he can control both functions that is he himself can duplicate the invoice and authorize and pay the invoice role model hierarchy sale point identity iq maintains a hierarchical role model which consists of business roles it roles and entitlements business role identifies job functions by which users can be grouped and it roles encapsulate the set of system entitlements where entitlements represent individual system authorizations in this slide we can see e1 and e2 are the entitlements encapsulated in it role and this it role is assigned to a business role similarly e3 and e4 entitlements are encapsulated in another it role and assigned to a business role the business role can inherit a it role or another business role and when this business role is assigned to a user the user acquires both the properties of the business roles use case manager and employee roles organizations that have already defined the responsibilities can utilize rbac by creating roles and assigning the existing responsibilities to their roles for example in this slide we have four responsibilities with their associated menus and function an it role is created with encapsulation of human resource employee self service and expenses and this it role is assigned to employee business role similarly the other two entitlements are encapsulated in an it role and this it role is assigned to manager business role since the manager is also an employee the manager role inherits the employee role and inherits all the responsibilities and privileges associated with the employee role so here we could see an employee role has the responsibility to raise the expense report while the manager has the responsibility of the manager expenses that is he can approve the expenses while the employee does not have the function to approve the expenses then instead of manually assigning or revoking the responsibilities from its employee the organization can simply assign or revoke the employee and manager roles as required let's consider a use case where the joiner life cycle event uses the following business process the process of managing workforce and the resulting impact to entities and access privileges is greatly simplified in identity iq with automated life cycle events life cycle manager supports a wide range of events such as new hires transfers moves or terminations through integration with authority resources such as hr systems and corporate directories let's consider a use case where an employee has newly joined the organization when a life cycle event is detected identity iq automatically triggers access changes by initiating the appropriate business process including policy scans and approvals changes are then passed to provisioning broker for closed loop access fulfillment via automated provisioning systems a provisioning plan contains a list of requested changes to an identity 
that is the account request and attribute request. Application provisioning policies are applied when a new account is requested on an application. The provisioning policies can specify the field values as literal values or through a script or through a rule. The provisioning broker evaluates and compares the provisioning plan which often involves dividing original plan into several partition plans. The provisioning project serves as a container for the master provisioning plan and set up partition smaller plans based on the process variable declaration. The master plan is evaluated for any rule assignments. Approval set is created in the build approval set step based on the items in the provisioning plan. In this use case, the approval set contains two approvals. One is the manager approval and other is application owner approval. Initially, it will go off to the manager approval and once the manager approval is done, it next moves to the application owner approval. And once the both approvals are completed, it will go through the provisioning phase using the LCM provisioning sub process and finally the user is provisioned to EBS. This concludes the presentation which primarily focused on the provisioning of user per thread provisioning roles and responsibilities for the target TB application. As it was the presentation, thank you very much for your time and attention. If you are interested for more technology updates, please do subscribe our social media. Thank you.